and welcome to another episode of Horsing Around. We're here at Kalora Lodge with Pete. Pete, tell me about what you do here. Sammy, we're a uh, breaking in and pre-training facility. We um, do a lot of the trainers um, on the coast and Eagle Farm and in, in Brisbane. And it's basically the place is set up for spelling, breaking in, pre-training, and just re-educating young horses. And we're probably nearly halfway between the Gold Coast and Brisbane. The Logan River actually wraps all the way pretty much around us. It's nearly like a moat around the property. Um, and we're situated here on 70 acres. Here we try and cater for all horse needs and, and everybody's needs really. We have a uh, thousand metre all weather track, two lots of uh, sim track starting stalls that are fully kitted out, safety um, pads and everything in them. We also have a water walker, a treadmill, dry walkers um, and a big round yard that that's where I do all my, all my uh, yearling breaking. And um, we also have two arenas, one grass and one sand for the older horses if we go to um, put them down there and, and jump them. <laughs> I'm hands on with, with every yearling that comes through. Um, so then I get a gauge myself too of whether you know, that yearling is gonna be suited to that rider or do I need to keep that horse back and, and ride it myself for an extra week or two. So you just got to be guided by the horse. So talk me through these two saddles. Okay, so when we first start to ride them, they've, they're still new to everything. We use these saddles just to desensitize them. They've actually got a, uh, they got a front girth here and actually a back girth. And these here are just to keep you in. If they do happen to jump around and, and have a little play and buck, um, it actually, keeps you in the saddle. And, um, and this one here, after probably two weeks, we take them out of these saddles and then we introduce them to what we call the, uh, the exercise pad, which when they go to the track for the first time, these are the, these are the saddles that they'll actually have on. Um, they're a lot lighter. They make you, the stirrups are a lot shorter. So actually um, the horses get used to you actually being up over their necks. So, um, yeah, so they're the two different saddles that we use um, while breaking the yearlings in. And now explain to me what this is. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the first bridle that we put on the yearlings um, for the mouthing process. Once they get used to that and, and the roller, this is the roller that we actually put on for the first time, um, just to get them used to the pressure around the girth area. And then once they're used to that, we attach this side rein around there and then we slowly tighten it up just to make them come around and roll under and get used to the, the bit pressure. You get a fair idea by the end of its breaking in prep and when they start to balance up and, and when you ride them where they've got a good action. I'd like to think that I know but sometimes the ones that you think are going to make it they don't they don't quite get there and the ones that you don't think are going to make it they come through after a bit of maturity and and really shine, but it's hard to actually go, hey, this is going to be a superstar. Thanks again for joining us on another episode of Horsing Around. We'll catch you next time.